Freeing a 40-foot, 40 40-ton 40 humpback whale entangled in gear is no easy task. These animals are so large and powerful that they often rip the gear right off the ocean floor and swim away with it, in some cases thousands of miles. For those animals that are relocated, the act of disentangling a large whale is dangerous for the whale and the rescuers alike. The Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary's rescue team is one of the few disentanglement response teams that is authorized by NOAA Fisheries to free large whales from life-threatening entanglements. The Sanctuary's team partners with other agencies like NOAA Fisheries, Hawaii's Department of Land and Natural Resources, and the United States Coast Guard. So how do you cut a 40-ton free-swimming whale free of gear? First, we do not get in the water. Instead, we work from boats using a modification of an old whaling technique called kegging. Historically, kegging involved attaching barrels or kegs to the whales by harpooning them. The extra dragon points of the barrels would slow the whale down, keep it at the surface where it could eventually be approached. Today, for disentanglement purposes, we use grapples, like the one you see here being thrown, to attach to the gear that is entangling the animal. Once attached, we get an Nantucket sleigh ride, just like the whalers used to get in their wooden skiffs. Instead of wooden barrels, we attach large plastic buoys, as seen here, as our kegs to provide drag and buoyancy. Over time, the animal will remain at or near the surface, where we can haul ourselves closer, as seen here from a camera attached to one of the rescuer's helmet. We then attach buoys right behind the animal to limit its movements even more. At this point, we can assess the entanglement to determine how best to cut the whale free. Notice how the rescuer watches the animal, his teammate attaching the keg and buoy, and the gear at all times. This whale has multiple wraps of line around the base of its tail, with several hundred feet of line trailing. The trailing line provides drag, causing the wraps to cut deep into the animal. With an authorized vessel standing by, we'll use a specially designed hooked knife on the end of a pole to reach forward to cut the whale free. Here we have some helmet cam footage showing one of the rescuers keeping the rescue inflatable in position right behind the animal. The other rescuer has a 10-foot pole with a hooked knife on the end. The knife is dull on the outside and sharp on the inside surface to help protect the animal. The rescuer reaches forward to carefully cut the wraps which over time have embedded themselves deeply into the whale's tail. Three cuts are made in succession, at which time the remaining wrap is shed and the whale is entirely free of all gear. This animal has been saved from what was once a life-threatening entanglement. We realize we can't save every whale entangled in gear. However, hopefully we can learn from our efforts and recover gear to gain information about the threat. Over the past several years, the Sanctuary and the network members have freed nine humpback whales in Hawaii from life-threatening entanglements. Some animals, like the animal shown here, were entangled in marine debris. Other animals were entangled in fishing gear. This animal, entangled through the mouth, was carrying hundreds of feet of line in a large buoy. Once cut free, we found that the gear had been set off the Pribilof Islands in the center of the Bering Sea. This is a straight-line distance of over 2,500 nautical miles from the Hawaiian Islands. While we continue to free large whales from life-threatening entanglements, our ultimate goal is to prevent or at least reduce the threat of entanglement for these animals in the future.